Origins of many things on this planet do not always begin on this world. In truth, most of what humans call knowledge comes from aliens. And this knowledge is not justly distributed. When we think of God, we think of an almighty being or a group of beings that are worshiped across the earth. From Buddhist to Christianity, Judaism and Hinduism, every religion has a leader or a God. So there must have been intervention by a group of beings. The theory is that the Anunnaki came down to the earth from the planet of the crossing, Nibiru, and gave humans a quantum jumpstart of sorts. This led to the creation of humanity. It is strange to think this could be true, but there is a growing belief that this is in fact an accurate historical account and there is plenty of evidence to back it up. Wait till you hear this. Two governors of Earth sent from Nibiru to rule Earth were responsible for all this power and control. They gave the ancient Sumerians their architectural, agricultural, astronomical, and cultural training in exchange for labor and gifts to the gods in the form of a lot of mining for gold in order to save their home planet Nibiru's failing atmosphere. It makes sense to us that there must have been intervention from beings beyond this world. Indeed, we see them as gods because that is exactly what they are to us. The Sumerians credit all their accomplishments to the gods who were worshipped and depicted in the ancient Sumerian texts. We are on the verge of questioning everything we thought we knew about the human civilization. Yet, the deeper we delve into history, the more we realize our very short understanding of history is completely false. The earliest known usage of the term Anunnaki came from the inscription written during the region of Gudia and the third dynasty of Ur. In the earliest texts, the name is applied to the most important and powerful deities in the ancient Sumerian pantheon, the descendants of the sky god An. Sumerian texts describe the arrival of the Anunnaki to the earth from a supposed planet called Nibiru some 450,000 years ago. They were tall beings around three meters in height who would have settled in Mesopotamia and by genetic engineering, accelerated the evolution of Homo sapiens, us, contributing their genetics and of course, creating mankind. Some authors argue that evidence of the Anunnaki came from the Bible where they are referred to as the Nephilim, although some other translations call them giants. It is believed that they greatly contributed to Earth with technology still unknown to us and that they were involved in the construction of pyramids around the world and numerous other ancient megalithic sites. So who were they? Were they just part of a great ancient legend? If the Anunnaki created us, who created the Anunnaki? Just a thought. It's not a question of whether they exist or not. The evidence overwhelms and confounds many across the world, but will they come back? How would we take an alien presence on the earth today? When you think of it, they are our creators. So the fact we are thriving on this planet today really does make us the aliens. Do you guys have any interesting facts about the mysterious creator gods of humanity? The word Anunnaki, for example, literally translates as those who visit the earth from heaven. Crazy, right? We would love to hear from you, so comment below. Thank you for watching.